Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to discuss workflows in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. And the things that we're going to discuss in this video are three. Number one, how workflows are defined in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 R2. Number two, why do we need workflows in the first place? Number three, uh, general feature of the workflows available in Microsoft Dynamics AX. So if we talk about the uh, first item, how workflows are defined, um, there are a couple ways uh, that um, in Microsoft Dynamics AX workflows are defined. One is a, a system and as a system and other is as a business. Uh, when we talk about as a system, um, it provides actually system um, as a system. It provides functionality that will help you to create workflow, uh, and they are all defined in application object tree. Um, they, I'll show you in a minute when we look at workflows, and you will see on the right side, left side, all the interface, GUI interface, all the all the functionality you will see. Um, on the left or right, um, all the properties that's defined in workflow when you create a workflow that's defined as a system. And uh, the second is the business as a business. So business processes uh, really use those uh, um, functions to define a workflow, how the workflow should happen, how the workflow should flow, and who must uh, submit, who must complete their approval how decision should be taken and all that kind of business decision that requires that is as a business processes uh, the second why do we need um, uh, workflows workflows has a lot of um, benefits um, i'm going to uh, just mention few of them um, number one uh, a big benefit really from workflow point of view that it provide consistent processes so what I mean by consistent process is that um, uh, th there is a hierarchy, uh, there is a, a process, there is a defined uh, stuff that is needs to be taken place and uh, it's consistent um, and um, every time you have to do something, you have to follow that particular process. So that's um, um, really from a specific document point of view such as purchase, um, requisitions and expense reports uh, so um, workflow system really you can ensure that documents are processed and approved in consistent and efficient manner uh, the second that uh, uh, the second big advantage um, that uh, workflows really give you uh, is process visibility so in process visibility the system will let you track status history and performance metrics of a specific workflow instance so it helps you to de determine whether changes should be made to the workflow to improve the performance or efficiency or not this the third thing that uh, i wanted to mention here that uh, workflows provides a uh, really centralized uh, 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 mechanism so uh, all the workflows are centralized so you can uh, view a centralized work list to view the workflow tasks, approval assignment to them, and also that who it's assigned to and um, who is going to approve uh, such document. So in order to, uh, in, in Microsoft Dynamics AX, uh, those centralized workflows, I'll show you again in a second, uh, they are defined in role centers. Um, and also enterprise uh, client and at enterprise uh, uh, portal. Um, let me qu um, talk about a little bit uh, general feature of the workflows and then we're going to go ahead and talk about uh, uh, the, the um, and we're going to go ahead and go into the client and see different types of workflows. Some of the general feature, there are a lot of other general feature that was uh, actually provided in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009, but uh, in Dynamics AX 2012, R2 uh, has enhanced um, and um, as has enhanced cap capabilities uh, regards to workflows. So and one a few of them are uh, in uh, Dynamics AX 2012, uh, there are uh, advanced workflows controls are um, actually introduced line level workflows are uh, introduced uh, work item queues are introduced and automated tasks are introduced so um, in advanced workflows really um, when when we talk about advanced workflows uh, 
they are divided uh, into like a, a conditional um, decision, manual decision, or a parallel decision. Conditional is if certain condition is met, then that's going to happen. Um, and manual decision is um, uh, the system. I'm sorry, the um, conditional is um, also in the hand of system. Uh, most of the time, it's not really um, system decides whether to move forward or what decision I should take based on the input that um, uh, it, it, it gets. Um, and I'll give you example um, of, of each. And the manual decision is um, uh, actually, it requires human interaction. So whenever decision comes to the uh, comes to manual, then what happen is that uh, one person has to decide, and that's uh, has to provide an input, um, uh, and uh, that's when the workflows ha uh, decides that whether which direction it should go, you know, based on the what kind of workflows uh, workflow you are using. Uh, and the parallel, uh, it's divided into um, a couple branches or more branches, and all the branches actually take place at the same time. So that's uh, uh, that's one feature, um, just a little bit of overview of uh, um, advanced workflow features in, in Microsoft Dynamics AX. And the other one is, uh, um, as far as a, a work item queue, that is also introduced in Microsoft uh, um, Dynamics AX 2012, and it's enhanced. Um, uh, it is available in 2009, but uh, it's uh, much more enhanced in 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 in, uh, in this uh, perspective. Um, and work item queue actually contains all the tasks that need that still uh, that needs to be completed. Um, whether uh, you know they're they're waiting on a decision or or not, but uh, they are uh, in the queue and they they need some sort of input. Um, and uh, once the input is received, um, the, those workflow is going to go from from there. Uh, line level workflows also introduced in Microsoft Dynamics uh, uh, AX 2012. And the example of line level workflows is let's say that you have a timesheet. And the timesheet has actually uh, for a particular day the whole whole uh, um, that that is one line, and maybe all three lines that you're working on a different task. All three lines in one sheet needs to be approved by different um, uh, managers. So that is possible in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 workflows now. Um, the other is automated tasks. The, this is also enhanced feature in Microsoft Dynamics AX as far as workflow goes. Uh, so uh, automated tasks really make um, uh, some of the decision uh, really easy. Let's say that um, you can define certain condition. Um, I will give you an example of expense report. Let's say that uh, uh, it first first condition is that uh, I should submit my expense report, and now uh, my expense report contains uh, obviously uh, how much amount uh, that I'm uh, putting in my expense report. So let's say it's a five hundred dollar. If it's less than five hundred dollar, uh, person manager A should approve it. If it's uh, more than five hundred dollar um, and less than thousand uh, dollar, manager. Um, B should approve it and if it's uh, above thousand dollar manager C should approve it so these kind of uh, automated uh, uh, tasks uh, available in Microsoft Dynamics AX and I'm quickly going to show you where the workflows are we're just gonna look at the workflows and then in my next video I'm going to show you how to create a workflow and we will look at a different functionality when I talked about how workflows are defined. So we'll look at the system way of, um, uh, uh, as a system where we can look at the functionality that is gonna help us to create the workflow and how the workflow as a business, now we're gonna create a workflow to look into that. So that'll be much more detailed. Uh, we'll create one workflow and based on that, you will get familiar that what features to use when you create workflows in Microsoft Dynamics AX and I hope that will help and let's go in um, my uh, server where I have installed Microsoft Dynamics um, now quickly uh, all the views up here if you if you look at right here all these views 
if you select workflows are tied to these views if you select account payable account receivable the workflows actually are related to the these views so let's say that I am in um, uh, system administration if you go and set up and look at the workflows right here is the workflow tab and these are the parameters uh, uh, system admin needs to set and uh, also work uh, workflow infrastructure configuration needs to be made by the system admin uh, and we will do that when we create a workflow uh, user workflow is up here so if you click on account payable you will see in in account payable setup uh, the workflows it says account payable workflows and if you click one of the these and you click new uh, these are uh, the template workflows that's uh, already uh, defined you can uh, modify those when you're creating a workflow you can use one of those uh, these templates and create a workflow that will work for you so um, in any actually look at uh, uh, look let's look at general ledger if you click on general ledger workflows um, it'll open uh, general ledger uh, workflows uh, that is defined already built in a uh, template in Microsoft Dynamics AX. So um, we're going to use actually uh, uh, going back to uh, system administration. We're going to uh, in my next video, we're going to create a workflow that is called a user workflow. And we're going to, um, um, you know, go through all the functionality and uh, flow controls in workflow uh, if you have used to uh, if if you're used to create workflows in Microsoft Visio uh, it's not much different uh, all the parameters are almost the same but uh, this is much more systematic so you need to fill in um, all the uh, detail so uh, in the end we will get the uh, uh, diagram you can save the workflow you can uh, import it in Visio and uh, all that kind of good stuff. So um, this this is just the overview of workflows in Microsoft Dynamics AX um, 2012 R2, and I hope it helps.